I'm telling you this concept of an equal energy exchange is amazing. And all it is is this. It's basically taking the concept of energy, right? I'm giving you something in the form of energy. It might be money. It might be my service. It might be my knowledge. And you're giving me something back in the form of energy that might be your knowledge or your money or your service or, you know, you're doing me favors or you connected me to somebody. Who knows? But it's basically making energy, that exchange of energy, it's making it a currency. Welcome, everybody, to The Chris Harder Show, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success, knowing that when good people like you make good money, they can then do great things. My name is Chris Harder, and several times per week, I will bring you epic guests, solo episodes, and every single tool, trick, and skill set you need to grow your business, grow your money mindset, and to grow your wealth to levels that you have never reached before. I've ended up in a unique place in life where I've got the experience, the connections, and all of the secrets that it takes to be successful. And and I'm lifting the curtain to reveal it all to you in an effort to help put you in a position of abundance so great that you can then be as generous as possible. So let's lock arms and let's get started. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Chris Hunter Show's Another Money Monday here where we absolutely believe that both prosperity and generosity can and must coexist. Before I tell you what an equal energy exchange is, oh, you're going to love this one. I wanted to remind you that we're thinking about doing a kind of a first week of November round table. And that'll be the last one of the year. It's going to be the 2024 planning edition of the round table. Two days of strategy with 14 other talented entrepreneurs that'll blow your mind. We keep it small. We keep it intimate. That way I can be super hands-on in your business for those two days, along with the other talented entrepreneurs in there. Now at the past round tables, they've literally taken on a life of their own, so to speak. And people keep demanding, do another one, do another one. And they keep coming back to them. And that's because, you know, here's a few examples. One woman who has a social media agency, she went from getting about $500 a month from her clients to $2,900 a month from her clients and immediately got new clients right there in the round table plus the referrals. So filled her roster. I mean, super cool, right? That's how it's supposed to work. Another guy figured out how he could replace his multiple six-figure income so that he can leave that job and come home and spend all of that time and energy on his main business that is already open and thriving, but he feels pulled in two directions. So we created a couple of ways for him to replace that income and come home and be able to just concentrate all his resources, time and energy on his main business instead of chasing two chickens, as they say. Gosh, we've done so many things. Another woman figured out how she could redirect a lot of her ad budget, a lot of her Facebook ad and Instagram ad budget to creating a micro influencer campaign that is going to crush compared to what she was getting in return for what she was spending on ads. And it never dawned on her that she could do this. I'm telling you, these two days will change your life. If you want to be a part of the 2024 early November round table, remember the seats are few and far between. All you have to do is text me the word round table to 310-421-0416. Again, text me the word round table to 310-421-0416. You'll get one of the 15 spots for the 2024 planning session. And I promise you, you will never have been so set up for 2024 like you will have been when you leave this thing. So again, text me the word round table to 310-421-0416. All right. Now, what is an equal energy exchange? This is something that Lori and I have used for years in order to get right sometimes with when we're doing a financial transaction with somebody that might feel kind of lopsided at first. Or we've used it to get right with, you know, being unapologetic about selling and selling our, our products loud and proud and being, being unapologetic about, hey, here's what we have to offer and, and here's what we're charging. We've used equal energy exchange to avoid conflict or to avoid building stories when we're in a financial obligation with somebody. Like I'm telling you, this concept of an equal energy exchange is amazing. And all it is is this. It's basically taking the concept of energy, right? I'm giving you something in the form of energy. It might be money. It might be my service. It might be my knowledge. And you're giving me something back in the form of energy that might be your knowledge or your money or your service or, you know, you're doing me favors or you connected me to somebody. Who knows? But it's basically making energy, that exchange of energy, it's making it a currency. Because all too often we get, we get lost in this lopsided idea of like, ooh, I'm charging $500 for this service, but they're giving me $500 and now they're out $500. No, they're not. When they give you $500 for your service, your product, that's an equal energy exchange. You gave them 
a service that is worth in the form of energy, knowledge, a product, you're giving them something that's worth $500 or more, and you're getting back $500 in cash because the energy important to you in that moment was receiving the cash, and the energy important to them in that moment was receiving the product or the knowledge or the service that you had to offer. Here's another example. When we pay salaries to our employees and the people who help us live a better life, we might be giving them a paycheck every week or every couple of weeks, but they're giving us back an equal energy exchange that is equal to or greater to that paycheck of hard work and love and taking care of us. And, you know, maybe it's Susie who makes our home so beautiful every day. Maybe it is Taylor who's running around making sure that all of the projects that would sideline us, that would derail us are, are taken care of so we can devote our energy to our clients, to our businesses. That's an equal energy exchange. When you pay somebody a paycheck, never be resentful of it. Be excited because you're getting back an equal amount of energy in exchange, right? They're not giving you an equal paycheck back. They're giving you energy in the form of their wisdom or their knowledge or, or their hard work to make your life better. That's an equal energy exchange. Sometimes it really helps to put it things into perspective when you're talking about equal energy exchange, when you buy something that doesn't turn out to be what you thought it might be. You know, Lori and I are, are famous for telling the story that our very first mastermind we ever joined, we spent $74,000 to be in as a couple. Actually, I take that back. It's our second mastermind. Lori joined one before that without me. And so as a couple, we joined this mastermind for $74,000. And it was not what we expected. Matter of fact, we went to the first weekend and never went back to the other two weekends. So on the surface, a lot of people would run around saying, oh my God, I got ripped off. Oh my God, it was the worst thing ever. Oh my God, I made a bad decision. Nope, nope. We received in an equal energy exchange so much knowledge about, hey, we need to do masterminds that people like because there's masterminds out here that people clearly don't like. We received the knowledge of, oh, here's what I would not do. When, if I ever did a mastermind or a group type of event, we received the knowledge in the form of, oh, here's how I would never want people to feel if I ever did a mastermind. And guess what? We've been doing masterminds for seven years now that just absolutely thrived. Every year they sell out and then some. And it's because of that equal energy exchange. We paid $74,000 to get into a mastermind years ago. We thought we were getting one thing. We did not get what we thought we were getting, not even close, but we did receive an equal amount of energy exchanged for that $74,000 because we've turned that into millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars and a lot of lives and businesses helped. Starting to catch on to the equal energy exchange. It's not always just money. I know this is a money Monday, so that's why I'm relating it to money, but this equal energy exchange can also be used when you're exchanging services, or let's say you're a really good listener and you're helping somebody, a friend, through a really hard stage in their life over and over and over again, you are just there for them. And boy, do they value that. And then let's say all of a sudden you need some help and they connect you to the one person who you have not been able to get a hold of or who you've been looking for, like the world's greatest connection that you could not get on your own, no matter how hard you tried. That is an equal energy exchange. You were there for them in several small moments that added up to being lots of support. And then in one swoop, they made one intro that changed your life or your business forever. That is an equal energy exchange. And so being familiar with this concept, it really helps you to be loud and proud about asking for the energy you need for whatever you're about to exchange. Sometimes that's money. Sometimes that's you standing up and saying, hey, here's what I need out of you, team member. Sometimes that's you standing up for yourself in a relationship. There's equal energy exchanges in all types of relationships, romantic and business. The concept of understanding an equal energy exchange will take off the board this concept, this idea of these one-sided exchanges where I gave money and I feel like I didn't get enough back. Or I feel guilty because I feel like I didn't give them enough money. It'll take that off the board and allows you to see the entire package of energy that you gave them and allows you to see the entire package of energy that they gave back to you. You could call it an equal value exchange if that resonates with you more. But whether you call it an equal energy exchange like Lori and I have forever, whether you call it an equal value exchange, it's important that you get right with this concept because it'll open doors left and right for you. It'll save resentment left and right for you. It'll allow you to charge what you want to charge because you see the value or the energy that you're giving them in return for the energy or value you needed in the form of dollars. It changes everything for you guys. Do me a favor, DM me. Let me know how this changes your life. Let me know how you suddenly see things, maybe a specific example, as an equal energy exchange where you wouldn't have seen that before. Go find me at Chris W. Harder on Instagram. And by the way, 
I love, love, love when you guys tag me in these episodes and share them on Instagram. It just lets me know what you like, what resonates with you, what I should teach more of, what I should lean into. So thank you to all of you who at the end of this episode right now, hit pause and go share it on your Instagram and tag me in it. Plus, I'll reshare you. It gives you a few more eyeballs. Thanks for listening, guys. Love and appreciate you. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success. 